Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay everything back. The servant's master took pity on him, cancelled the debt and let him go. But when the servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me and I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown in prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. See, there's nothing any of us can ever do to earn God's love or earn God's kingdom. He just loves us anyway, which is awesome. But in the story that Jesus tells, the servant has got himself into a huge amount of debt. In fact, when Jesus tells the story, he tells it as if he owes 20 years worth of wages. So the equivalent today is about four or five hundred thousand pounds. And yet he still tries to convince the king that he can pay it off, even though there's no way he could ever possibly do that. In the same way, sometimes we try and convince ourselves that we could repay God for the times when we've done wrong. We could earn ourselves a place in God's kingdom. Perhaps if I'm good enough, I can get into heaven. But just like the king in the story, God knows we could never possibly pay off that debt. The servant doesn't ask the king for a loan, but he asks for time so he can turn his situation around and repay his debt. But instead of giving his servant the opportunity to repay back his unimaginable debt, the king simply cancels it. In the same way, God forgives us for our sins as he knows it is impossible for us to repay our debt. But that in turn comes with a duty. If we're not also treating those around us with God's grace and God's love and God's forgiveness, then there's something very, very wrong. And we need to learn to live our lives forgiving others as we expect God to forgive us. Because if we can't forgive others, how on earth can we expect God to forgive us when what we've done to him is so much worse than what people do to us?